This is going to be the only FPS boost guide you need for Fortnite Season OG. I'm about to cover literally anything which you can apply directly on your PC and in Fortnite in order to get super high FPS. So therefore if you feel like you have a lot of stutter or really inconsistent FPS guys, I'm about to show you exactly how to fix this. And also make sure to check out my brand new zombie open world map. There's a full on storyline guys and 4 huge POYs. You can find easter eggs, weapons, drive around cars and all of that. So therefore really give it a try. So guys, and I prepared a whole entire FPS boost pack which you can get from my official website or the Discord dot slash the stripes and first of all we're going to open up nvidia driver the version 537.13 is actually the best driver which you can get at the moment guys and in order to install this one you actually need another dedicated program which is going to be called display driver uninstaller the main problem which a lot of people don't even pay attention to is you can't just simply uninstall your nvidia driver you actually have to go through this dedicated tool in order to make sure to delete all the data which is somehow linked to your driver so therefore what i want you to do in the first place is make sure to launch the tool then you're going to go under select device and make sure to put it so therefore what i want you to do in the first place is go under select device type and then select gpu and make sure to put it on nvidia of course then from all of these options you have to go under clean and restart since you don't want to put in a brand new gpu you just simply want to get rid of the old drivers and once you click onto it the tool is automatically going to uninstall your current driver and then once it's restarted guys you're going to install the version 537.30 now you just simply have to go through the installation and you're already good to go with the first step next up guys we have the game user settings this one you're going to open up and make sure to put in here exactly which one you have if you're currently running a potato or low npc with an nvidia entry card you should go for this game user settings they already have pre-applied all of the best settings and as well as stretch resolution which i would recommend you which is 640 times 480 then we also have a config for mid npcs this for something between like i would say a 1060 all the way up to a 2060 and then higher end is maybe like a 1660 super 2070 2080 or even upwards of rtx 3060 then just let me make sure that you copy these game user settings real quick go here and right click and copy them go into this top bar and type in a 10 percent at 10 click under local press f on your keyboard for fortnite game then save config windows client where you can then delete your current game user settings and replace them with the new one then once we're done with that we're going to click under optimization software and in here now we have optimizer version 16.2 and this tool is absolutely insane guys what you can basically do with it is apply all of the best tweaks to your windows pc which are going to give you so much more fps the best part about it is it already does pre-apply for you here all of the best tweaks which you should enable 100 percent and also if you click on any dedicated one it will tell you exactly what it does you're going to click it now under disable super fetch and you can see super fetch preloads commonly used apps to ram causing high disk usage so therefore this one here is going to get disabled and it's going to give you so much better performance on your pc the same as well with optimization performance there you can see something like disable low disk space check notifications disable shake to minimize feature and just simply all of these animations which you don't need on your windows so therefore what you can do is just simply make sure to check them and then go under restart to apply changes but before we do that guys go as well on the startup and make sure that only these are enabled actually which you want i as an example don't want to have my lunar client being started every single time when i launch my pc so i'm going to delete it from there the same with razor synapse i also don't need it so therefore i'm going to check it and click under delete then we also have something like the galaxy client which i maybe also don't need so i'm going to remove it as well then under cleaner you can also clean up all the temporary data mini dumps error reports and empty the recycling bin all in one guys just simply click onto it and go under clean and now once you're done with everything i would recommend you to click under restart to apply changes next up guys we're going to utilize the gear up booster which you can try it for absolutely free with the link in the description this by the way the tool which mirror the fnc as global championship winner is actually using every single time before he hops into fortnite just simply make sure to select your favorite game it can be fortnite counter strike valorant whatever you guys want to play and the jab booster is automatically gonna make sure to reduce your ping to the absolute minimum your internet can provide so for me you can see right now guys i have only seven milliseconds latency here for fortnite which is insanely low for rank and the best part about it is it uses now adaptive intelligent routing which is a brand new service which i implemented just a month ago which is automatically in the background going to always search for the best dn as server making sure that you always keep the least amount of ping especially while gaming it's gonna do this automatically in the background and this is the main reason why i can have such low ping or even zero ping while playing ranked so therefore make sure that you check it out with the link in the description guys as mentioned you can try that for absolutely free and if you want to win a two-week membership make sure that you install this tool and send me a picture of it over on discord in my dms i'm picking random winners and giving away tons of memberships and then finally guys we have a tool which is going to be called run with affinity and in this tool guys you can set the affinity for any exo 
console game you want to play. So therefore what I'm going to do is go under this PC, then under local disk C, programs, then I should find here somewhere Epic Games, open it up, go into Fortnite, Fortnite game, then we can see binaries, Windows 64, and here we're going to add the Fortnite Excel. Once it's in here guys, we can now select the affinity of our CPU, which for me is 32 virtual cores, since I'm running an i9 13900K, and then we're gonna go under run and make sure to put this one here onto maximize. Then we're gonna create a shortcut on our desktop, and we're basically going to tell our CPU to always whenever we run Fortnite over this Excel, primarily focus on Fortnite and give us the best performance. So therefore make sure that you always run your game over the run with affinity Excel, which you just created. You can even name it Fortnite, it literally doesn't matter, and then just simply put it somewhere onto your desktop. The next up guys, I'm about to show you the best Fortnite settings for maximum FPS, by the way I'm right now here on my low end 1v1 map, which will guaranteedly give you the highest FPS on any PC. I mean take a look at my FPS, they literally don't move guys, it's super locked to 357. This map literally has the least amount of assets out of all 1v1 maps out there in Fortnite, so therefore you should definitely try it out. But besides that, I'm now also about to show you the best in-game settings of course, so that you can have super high FPS in Fortnite. So once you open up here our settings guys, you want to go real quick in here, as mentioned apply stretch resolution if you want to try it out yourself. The next up for the rendering mode guys, you definitely have to select performance mode if you are on Nvidia or Intel, but if you are on AMD you definitely have to select DirectX 12. The next up for the graphics settings guys, my 3D resolution I actually have on 70% because in my opinion it gives me a nice FPS boost but still the game actually doesn't look any worse. I mean guys this looks straight up like I'm playing on normal 100% 3D res, that's really not a huge difference. For my viewing distance I got it on near, textures on low and of course the report performance sets on disabled. All of these settings together are gonna give me the best Fortnite in-game settings for the maximum FPS and least amount of input delay so therefore make sure that you try them out guys. And with all of these settings applied guys your Fortnite is gonna run so much better. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel guys we're on the road to 100k and as mentioned check out the gr booster with the link in the description and also check out the two videos which are right now on screen